Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. Now this is just a very quick tip video on how to achieve lovely bulges in plasticity. Just like the screen on this TV. You can see that it's like got the old CRT type um, bulging going on. So if we go to um, one of our material modes you'll be able to see that it's got that uh, that shape to it. Now, this is a shape that can be quite easily made in poly modeling software with proportional editing. But as an exercise, I really wanted to do it in plasticity and I found a couple of solutions that I'm happy with. Um, so stick around and I'll show you how to expand your knowledge and your bulge. Now, also, let me know in the comments if you've got a better solution because I'd love another way of doing this because although I'm happy with the result, um, it's not perfect and not exactly how it would be uh, in real life. So I found two techniques on uh, YouTube. Um, so the first uh, solution is shout out to William Vaughn at Pixel Von Du all-round nice guy who loves to share his knowledge and pixel fondue is a great channel if you haven't already come across it they've done a lot of plasticity videos okay and then the second technique is a teeny bit longer and a teeny bit more complicated but will yield pretty good results um it's from a channel by 2ga concepts which is another good channel but it's a silent channel with no real explanation and it's not always clear what's going on and what um you know you kind of have to sort of rewind and read the comments to figure out what he's doing so that's kind of the purpose of me doing this tutorial so look let's just crack into it We've got these two uh, rectangles here, rectangle curves. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, choose the first one and we're going to do the William Vaughan solution, which is uh, as follows. So press Shift S on your keyboard in edge mode with the curve selected. Okay. And all you need to do is select these four vertices here control points rather and just on the y-axis just bring it out go into edge mode by pressing 2 on your keyboard alt F okay you can get rid of your curve and select the main object the sheet you can pull your sheet out select all your corners add a chamfer and you're done okay so we'll just have a look at that and you'll be able to see that that is a curve um, obviously you could have made it curvier than I did um, and get a bit more of a um, bulge out of it so for example if we just go back a couple of steps um, bring these control points out a bit further We can just exaggerate it for this case. And you can see what we're getting there. Okay, so that is the overall solution for that. And while that is good, it didn't quite give me the effect that I wanted. So moving on to the next solution, we've got that one. So well, this one's a little bit more uh, in depth and I think maybe a little bit overall more useful for me in this case. So once again, subdivide our cube and in point mode or pressing number one or up there on your keyboard, on your screen, sorry, you can just scale all of these out until you've got the shape that you would roughly like. Okay, press two to go into edge mode, press F on your keyboard and you need to find um, split segment okay i've got that set up to alt e i've also got it set up in my um, quick favorites here so we want to find the midpoint of each edge and i'm just pressing alt e because that's my shortcut on my screen okay and we go back into one you'll see that we've got all of these points okay and then what you want to do now is shift um, s to subdivide it okay and what we're going to be doing, just so that you know, is that we're going to 
this is just an example so you don't need to follow this point because we're going to subdivide more press F type in vertex into your search menu and find convert vertex okay and watch what happens when I click this so that's converted that vertex point between those two control points into a curve okay so what we're going to do is actually select this again and press shift s a couple more times to get more of a um, uh, a, a little bit more detail and I'm just going to press alt r which is my keyboard shortcut and just convert these corners I'll just zoom in so you can see what's going on here okay all right so that's what we've got there now if we go back into control point mode or the, the point mode You'll see I've got these little points which are control points and these larger these uh, larger ones which are the, the midpoints. Um, so you'll see that it was important to put those in there because then if we just go back into here it's a bit easier to see. Okay. We've got these four segments around. Now if we Alt Shift to select the whole curve and then make a chamfer not a fillet okay so taking it into the negative rather than the positive okay we can then take over here we can go in face mode shift x out this face so we've got no face select the ring again press alt f on your keyboard to patch a hole or you can find patch a hole down there now you notice that we're in g0 so you can either click here on g1 or press tab on your keyboard and you'll see that the we got this bulging uh, screen now that's bulging a little bit too much for an um, CRT TV so then we just can bring it in like that and going back into material mode you can see the different bulges that these have um, done and that's Bob's your uncle now Please let me know because neither of these um, solutions are exactly what I wanted. If we just go into this uh, mode here, what we can see here, this one doesn't have any curvature really um, apart from uh, straight up and down on that angle. And this one on the right pinches at the corners, um, which if we go back into this mode, you can kind of see that it is kind of making a kind of an X shape so I would like idealistically something between these two so if you know let me know and just quickly um, on my gumroad link in the description I have a screw kit bash uh, kit for plasticity um, if you want to pack of screws it's got inset and um, offset screws um, as well as I've got a bundle now where you can get all of the Take Refuge hard surface uh, assets at a cheap price, including all the hard surface mat caps and the Engon plugin. So instead of paying full price for everything, I think you can get it at $13.99 uh, discounted for everything. Okay, thanks a lot. In the next one, tschüss.